Welcome back. In today's video, I am going to give you a kitchen tour. One of the questions I'm asked very often is where did you get your kitchen made? When we were looking around to try and get our kitchen bought, made and installed, Neil and I couldn't find the kitchen that we wanted. Well, mostly I think it was me because I had a very clear picture of what I really wanted. Um, and so we decided to just get it made then by a carpenter. I designed it myself. I love our kitchen. Um, I just drew it out, took it to a carpenter um, and we got it made. A lot of you comment on the kitchen and you're constantly asking about questions um, about how we ordered it. So that's the backstory of our kitchen. I always wanted a white kitchen because I just like the bright um, look and feel that it gives. Um, we have a small space, so having a white kitchen really lends to um, a feeling of like airiness, even though the space isn't huge to begin with. So recently, I also um, bought quite a good number of containers for our kitchen and got the kitchen really super organized and I was so excited to get it sorted. And when I shared this with you, mamas, you all wanted to see how I organized my kitchen. Just to give you a little bit of information, first of all, my kitchen is looking spectacularly tidy today because the kids aren't home and because I just cleared everything and, make it, and made it look picture perfect just the way it's supposed to be, mind you. But anyway, hashtag mom leg. Another thing is that even though we got um, these containers and I've sorted out like most of the kitchen, there are bits and pieces that you'll see and I will explain as we go along that still aren't as perfect as I'd like them to, me, to be. But of course, this is an ongoing project because not only um, do I kind of change it up and try and get it organized better, but of course, we change, our lifestyles change, our needs and requirements change, we put in different appliances, and so the space isn't always what it was um, in the beginning. So I'm going to give you um, a show around the kitchen, I'm going to open up my cupboards, tell you what I store where, and tell you what I've got planned for the near future. So um, our kitchen is um, wood, it's hand-painted wood um, and then we decided to um, splash out on um, quartz countertops. I love the fact that we have uh, quite a big breakfast bar um, which I really enjoy cooking on and I love um, having the kids sitting down over there um, while I can meal prep or cook and chat with them um, on the other side of the breakfast bar. In the background you can actually see that there's one chair which is um, standing right over there and a few jars which I had to put away to shoot this video. We had a little bit of an accident and Nina fell off the stool. Thankfully she's fine but um, we tried to fix it so it looks like we'll need to order in another one. So here we have our microwave. That's where we store our microwave and I um, store our biggest chopping board as well over there. This drawer, um, uh, it's got little holes because it was originally intended for vegetables to be put in it. We still put a couple of vegetables, but of course with the hot climate that we have in Malta, um, most of the time the veggies need to go in the fridge. So we have a few veggies over here. Um, I used to, and I still recycle boxes to use um, for containers until I can find better ones that can um, actually do the job. So I keep wraps, newspapers, and um, all of my freezer bags. And as well, um, I keep our garbage bags down here. This drawer is a little bit messy. Um, I haven't gone down to organizing it yet. I'd even love to change um, like the plastic um, into something um, which looks just a little bit better because it's, as you can see, it's breaking over here. So um, that's something that I'm looking into. And then just below the cutlery drawer, I have this drawer which I open um, <laughs> tens of times a day. We have our flat toaster, my cookie cutters, um, my um, that's what I dry the dishes with, um, oven gloves, um, uh, my goodness, I keep forgetting words today. Scales, <laughs> burger press, and um, measuring um, spoons, baking paper, bags, and anything else which I like to keep really accessible. That drawer underneath, I like to keep our pots and pans, and uh, my chopping boards, as well as a few things which I like to serve uh, my food in. This is it, this is what it looks like. I don't have a lot of pots and pans as well because we've pretty much um like we don't really buy a lot we just buy what we need um and i do a lot of our cooking in our slow cooker as well 
which um, helps me keep pots and pans to a minimum. Toaster, some fruit um, and all my bits and pieces to cook with and I've always wanted open shelving because um, as I mentioned before the space isn't big so um, this really gives a feeling of again airiness and space. I like to keep things on the open shelving that I um, reach for again and again so that includes um, our plates, our glasses, um, cereals, um, well I don't use sugar that much but it looks really pretty up there um, and flour and a couple of dishes um, and uh, down here that's our oven, my slow cooker and my air fryer. Over here we have two pull out cupboards, they're really fantastic because you can really make use of those corners which would otherwise be wasted. We keep our containers up here more containers over here and down here I keep like the spare containers which I, I, use, I use in the fridge our salad spinner and just a few baking stuff and um, a few other containers which I haven't used yet but plan to go in the fridge as well so the only annoying thing with these um, cupboards and shelves is that sometimes unfortunately they tend to come undone for example this one I pull out manually um, until we get it fixed but it's fine still does the job so here I keep my food processor all the manuals for my appliances which I use um, every day my hand blender and in here Maybe it's a good thing that this can't slide out because we keep our sweeties hidden away. Bread and also some more accessories for the blender. Sink area. I don't like dish drainers so we got these grooves installed instead when we ordered the countertop. And I like to keep our water bottles out there um, ready to be filled. So here is where we keep the garbage. It's full. You've been warned. <laughs> I like the fact that I have space to put everything in there and everything is just concealed. I've been looking for like um, a dustbin because I'd love to change this. It's not so pretty um, and I'd like something um, a little bit nicer, but I haven't managed to find the exact size yet. So that's something that I shall be doing um, hopefully soon. This is where we have our dishwasher. So dishwasher over here. Couldn't live without it. Just above the sink and the dishwasher we have these um, two cupboards. These are the only two standard cupboards that we have. And let me show you what's in them. Not much in there really. Um, baking stuff on top. Um, goodies for the kids which we can pack and take with us into the car. That's why we keep them up there as well. And um, dry snacks for Nina or for Yannick even to pack with us when we're out and about or for the random snack. Next cupboard, food and tea bags and tea and coffee and lentils and um, figs and breadcrumbs and um, nut butters, honey, and marmalade and some pasta on top. I need to get more containers because um, I'd like to get the top shelf more organized as well, but it's still looking um, pretty good. I quite like it. We have a pull-out shelf right next to the fridge. I find that very handy. Over here we keep a few cleaning products, olive oil, salt, pepper, coconut oil, stuff I used to cook with, herbs and spices, more snacks and nuts, skins and some more cereal um, and just random stuff which we throw in there like I can see our water bottles as well. It's a little bit messy coming to think of it. I store um, stuff which is um, like instant, like instant pastas and couscous and risottos, cooking stuff. Herbs, I've got a full shelf of them and um, more snacks and I can actually some, see some pasta as well because these containers are fabulous but um, my cupboards are quite tiny so this size wouldn't fit into my cupboards. Now you might be thinking what's at the top? We use the top cupboards to store anything that is extra or spare stuff that we don't use as often. Over there we also keep um, like spare cereals and um, extra stuff which we don't use that often and we have a cupboard full um, of alcohol. I think that probably everyone who's been married in Malta all has this um, spare alcohol from their wedding uh, which <laughs> we've kind of turned into a bar. We don't use it that much but when we have people inside um, invited over um, we 
of offer them a drink from our bar. Fridge, this is being changed soon because we're buying um, a full fridge instead of half fridge, half freezer, and we're upgrading our chest freezer into um, a larger freezer. So at the time being, um, the bottom part of this is um, a drawer freezer. This is our top cupboard on top of the fridge. Oh gosh, here is a messy one. This is on top of the dishwasher. One on top of the oven, sort of, on the center. Disposables, um, container, which we don't use that often, but I sometimes use when you go on picnics, mugs, matchsticks, and all sorts of bits and pieces. Finally, soft drinks, because we really don't drink them that often. We don't, well, we just drink them when we have people over. Thermoses for hot water, for picnics, and some extra stock of the stuff that we use regularly. I hope you enjoyed watching my kitchen tour. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.